Now that we have everything ready, it's time to drop the engine. This is the final step. So everything has been disconnected from the engine um, except for the engine mounts. That's the only thing holding the engine uh, to the frame. Um, there are four engine mounts for this car. Uh, one on the front and back. So you can see this is the front and back of the engine. Um, which is also called the passenger and driver side engine mounts. And then you have uh, forward and rear engine mounts. So the first one there, uh, you can see, uh, is attached to the transmission. That's the rear engine mount. And then there's one on the front as well, um, which we'll look at when we go under the car. So what we're going to do is remove the front and rear engine mounts first. Uh, you have the option of removing the bolts that connect the mounts to the engine or the bolts that connect the mounts to the car. Um, for the front and rear, I'm going to re be removing the bolts that hold the mounts to the car, um, just because it's a little bit easier, so the mounts are going to go with the engine when I remove it. Once we have those free, we can bring in our hoist, which we have already over there, and you know, tie it up to the, the hooks here on the engine. This is one on the back and there's one on the front here. Uh, and we're going to be holding the engine's weight while we undo um, the passenger side and driver side engine mounts. And that's going to release the engine from the car and then we're going to lower everything down nice and slowly onto an engine dolly or a furniture dolly that we have underneath the engine. And this is why we have we have the car jacked up because we want to be able to get the furniture dolly underneath. It's going to be make, make getting this engine around a lot easier. Um, so let's get started and the first thing to do is to remove the uh, front and rear um, engine mounts and let's go ahead and do that and then move on to the next step. So as you can see we're underneath the car. Uh, we've removed the two bolts that hold the rear engine mount uh, to the frame. So the whole en rear engine mount is going to come with the engine when we drop it. And we're working on the front engine mount here. Uh, so you can see that here. Uh, it has two bolts as well holding it in. Um, to get at the rear one there you have to undo some bolts holding this plastic sort of a, a shield here, this plastic protector underneath the car, um, just so you can get your socket in there and also when you drop the engine you don't want this to be breaking off. So just remove those two uh, 10 millimeter bolts holding this plastic uh, protector on. Another thing is you can see um, the speedo cable um, is hooked into the front engine mount so just undo that because um, we don't want that coming with the engine mount when we drop it. Uh, so when we, when we remove these two bolts, uh, this will be free from the frame and we can remove that engine mount along with the rest of the engine. Um, fairly straightforward, you don't need to use an impact wrench, you can go just with a 14mm uh, socket. Um, and we're almost done, the front and rear mounts, and then we're going to put the engine hoist in and do the left and right mounts and then drop the engine. Let's keep working. So we've moved the engine hoist into place. Uh, we have it fully extended here, and we have our heavy-duty chain um, wrapped around the two engine hooks. Uh, I like to use uh, carabiners to secure the chain. Uh, you can buy them at climbing supply stores, they work really handy. Uh, so two carabiners, and underneath, uh, between the legs, we have our furniture dolly. These things are really cheap and really great. So we're going to lower our engine right onto that and then we can slide the engine out nice and easy. So what we're going to do here is uh, remove the uh, passenger side engine mount and then the driver side engine mount and the engine is going to basically be free from the car and then we're going to slowly lower it using the crane onto the furniture dolly and then uh, we're going to jack the car up and slide the engine out underneath and that's going to be our final step so make sure this is nice and tight so that when you re remove um, your engine mounts the engine doesn't drop suddenly and you know break something or do some damage 
Um, so let's go ahead and undo those engine mounts and then lower our engine. To remove our passenger side engine mount, um, it's actually connected to the engine with two bolts, so one here and here, and there's nuts on either so on, the, on the opposite side of here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath the car, use our impact wrench with an extension, and pull off those two nuts, and then we're going to keep the engine mount attached to the frame, and then just drop the engine. A uh, similar thing is going to happen on the other side, where we're going to be removing the bolts that attach uh, the engine mount to the to the uh, engine, not not the bolt that attaches the mount to the frame. So the, the mount's actually going to stay with the frame, and you can see here um, there's two bolts as well. That one sticking out at an angle, and there's another one underneath the battery tray there. Um, so two bolts, um, which we'll be using the impact gun with again. So let's do that now. All the engine mounts are now disconnected. We can see just how far the engine dropped, especially on the transmission side, um, when, when we remove that final uh, bolt. So you have to be holding the engine with, with the crane. Um, it has to be tight or taut. Um, before you undo that last bolt or else the engine is going to drop really far, you might hurt yourself, you might damage something. Um, so now all we need to do is slowly lower the engine while making sure nothing's getting hit, nothing's getting caught, you know, onto the dolly, and then we can undo these connections, and then we're going to raise the car up so that we can slide the engine out, um, and then we're done. So let's keep going and finish this up. The engine has been lowered. You can see the dolly is a little, a little bit of an, at an angle just because of the, the feet um, for the crane. Um, but it's resting nicely on that dolly. So now we're going to undo uh, these chains. And what we need to do now is lift the back of the car high enough that we can actually roll this engine out. So it's going to be really, really high. Um, you're going to want to block the front wheels so that the car doesn't roll off on you. Um, let's go ahead and do that and then get this engine out once and for good. To lift the car up, we have the chain now connected to the left and right engine mounts. And we're lifting in the center of this chain. And we'll be lifting the car up and then raising the jack stands. Have some wood ready to raise those jack stands nice and high. Again, we have the front wheels blocked off so the car doesn't roll on us. And the goal here is to get this high enough so that we can roll this engine out. So don't go any higher than that, just high enough that you can get this engine out and then stop. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So you can see here just how high you have to bring the car to get the engine out. Um, the front nose is basically going to be touching the ground. And you need to have those jack stands ready with uh, lifts. And so now what we're going to do is lower the car onto the jack stands, remove the hoist, slide the engine out, uh, relift the car, and then lower it down onto its wheels. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, be careful when you do this, this is the most dangerous process. Um, just take your time, take it easy, and uh, let's get done. The engine is out. And so now we're going to roll the hoist back in, raise the car off the jack stands, uh, lower it, put the wheels back on, and we're ready to tear down this engine and do a rebuild. So, that completes the steps on how to remove your 4AGE engine from a Toyota MR2. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, total time um, for someone who knows what they're doing, probably about four and a half hours by yourself, less with friends. Um, if this is the first time, just take your time, do it slowly, make sure you have nice weather. Um, it should take you maybe about six, seven hours, um, but have the right tools. Always have the right tools is the big key to, you know, not hurting yourself, to not damaging your equipment. Um, so as always, good luck and have fun.